This next poem is by Charles Cotton, not a very well-known poet. He was a friend of Isaac Walton, and I think this poem is beautifully made. It has a, a lovely gentleness and subtlety about it, and it evokes the pleasure of looking forward to company in future with somebody that you care about, and in this case doing something that you both enjoy doing, going fishing. So this is Cotton's poem to my dear and most worthy friend, Mr Isaac Walton. Whilst in this cold and blustering clime, where bleak winds howl and tempests roar, we pass away the roughest time has been of many years before. Whilst from the most tempestuous nooks the chillest blasts our peace invade, and by great rains our smallest brooks are almost navigable made, whilst all the ills are so improved of this dead quarter of the year, that even you, so much beloved, we would not now wish with us here. In this estate, I say, it is some comfort to us to suppose that in a better clime than this, you, our dear friend, have more repose. And some delight to me the while, though nature now does weep in rain, to think that I have seen her smile, and happily may I do again. If the all-ruling power please, we live to see another May, we'll recompense an age of these fond days in one fine fishing day. We then shall have a day or two, perhaps a week, wherein to try what the best master's hand can do with the most deadly killing fly. A day without too bright a beam, a warm but not a scorching sun, a southern gale to curl the stream, and, master, half our work is done. There, whilst behind some bush we wait, the scaly people to betray, we'll prove it just with treacherous bait to make the praying trout our prey, and think ourselves in such an hour happier than those, though not so high, who like Leviathan's devour of meaner men, the smaller fry. This, my best friend, at my poor home, shall be our pastime and our theme. But then, should you not deign to come, you make all this a flattering dream. <laughs>